I think that the legitimate interest, first of all, there are more risks about than anything else. And B, in the UK, as opposed to the EU, is possibly going to change. So let's back it up the tree. Lots of people think legitimate interest means I've got a business. I need to sell you something. So it's in my legitimate interest to do anything I can to sell you something. That is not what legitimate interest means. Um, and secondly, as things stand in Europe, and will continue to do so, and as they stand in the UK at the moment and may not, you can only use legitimate interest with a data processing impact assessment. So it's not a flat, I need it, I'm going to do it. And that's very much how it's understood by people. And it doesn't get you out of consent when it comes to marketing. And this is another um, misunderstanding. The rules about consent come from something called the Personal Electronic Communication Regulations. They sit alongside GDPR, so not only do you have to comply with GDPR, but you also have to comply with them. And the PCO regulations say prospects need to consent, positively consent. So there's no legitimate interest for sticking people on the mailing list that you want to sell something to. There is a reverse, an opt-out consent element for existing customers that you're sending information to about related product. So, for example, in Coffee Clutch, when we update our contracts, we email our customers and go, your contracts have been changed because the law changed, come down and collect your new ones. We don't ask them for consent for that because they're already customers. We do have some, by the way, who opt out and never get their free updates. Mystifies me, but they're entitled to do that. But the, the very idea that you have a legitimate interest in emailing people under any regime we've had since about 2016 is just a misunderstanding. It's wishful thinking.